firewall troubleshooting, including Log Viewer. The firewall log viewer is a useful tool for troubleshooting firewall rules. To illustrate the way this can be used, we will give an example of a common scenario and how we would fault find it. In this example, we have tried to access the internet from a desktop directly through the firewall. We have tried to access smoothwall.com, but Internet Explorer has returned an error saying we can't reach it. First, we will open a command prompt and try a simple ping through to smoothwall.com. Here we can see the DNS is resolving and there is an internet address. We can't ping as we haven't allowed ping out, but we have successfully shown that we are resolving to an internet address. Therefore, something else is blocking access to the site. To see which rules are set up on Smoothwall, navigate to Network, Firewall, Firewall Rules. Here we can see the rules which are set up on this Smoothwall. There are some basic infrastructure rules, a default rule, which is currently disabled, and a default catch-all rule which applies to any traffic not specified in the rules above. As a first step to troubleshooting, it's helpful to enable logging on the default catch-all rule. Click Edit, select the Log Tick box, and Save Changes. This will now log if any of the rules above are not applying successfully to allow the traffic. This time, when we attempt to browse to smoothwall.com, the traffic will be logged. The firewall logs are located under Reports, Logs, Firewall. Here we will see the firewall traffic we have enabled logging for. To help you find a specific entry quickly, there are a selection of filters we can apply. If we find the IP address of the workstation, this can be entered in to filter for the specific IP. Click Apply Filter. As we are only looking for web traffic, we can also filter by port. HTTP is on port 80 and HTTPS on port 443, so we can specify this here to catch all internet traffic. Now the view shows all entries from the workstation we are investigating and only the traffic going to HTTP and HTTPS ports. In the action column, we see a recent number of reject actions from the firewall rules, which is likely the reason we are unable to load the internet page. The rule column shows which rule is applying to this set of traffic. A useful feature in the log viewer is that a rule is linked so you are able to click through to the firewall rule set. The matching rule is highlighted in yellow. As the catch-all rule applies, it means that the rules above are not matching the traffic. Looking at these rules, we see that there is a web access rule, enabled for internet traffic to allow web services, set to action accept, but it is not currently enabled. We will enable this and click Save to apply the changes. Attempting to browse to the site again, we are now able to access the web.